Buenos dias! Today we are in some volcanic mud. Oi, oi, oi! Uh, <laughs> we are in Obal Orbalit Arbalitas. We are in Arbalitas, Colombia, exploring some volcanic mud here. What a strange sensation. As a foreigner in this town, as one of the only foreigners in this town, I had a really strange experience last night. Well, being a man and I guess looking the way I do, uh, I went to my hotel last night and there was a guy and a girl on a bike and I thought maybe, you know, they were a couple or something. And I go into my hotel, but before I go into my hotel, I say hi, I'm like, hola, como estas, esto bien? Yeah, yeah, I was just being nice, just chatting. And then I like go into my hotel and like wave goodbye at them as I'm going by. And the girl gets off the bike and starts following me into my hotel. And I was like, it's a little strange. Maybe she has a room here. And she like comes into my hotel and I'm like kind of standing near reception and starting to walk towards my room. And I like, turn back and I wave to her. I'm like, buenas noches, good evening. And then she like waves back at me as if I was like waving at her to, to follow me. And I was like, what is going on? And then the guy comes around the corner and pokes his head in. And she's like starting to follow me to my hotel room. And I'm like, what in the heck is going on? I don't, I couldn't a hundred percent guarantee, but it seemed exactly like some sort of prostitution thing that yeah, it was not up my alley, but uh, yeah, very strange. I guess being the only foreigner in, uh, in town, you, uh, you attract people that want some business. I think we might actually be here. I think this is the, uh, the volcanic mud bath, but it looks like it's uh, not so muddy. Uh oh, we're getting a little bit more, we're getting a little softer. Ugh. It's like clay now. Maybe I should do this barefoot. All right. I think this is it. It looks nice and wet over there. Maybe you gotta walk in. There's nobody here. So I think the plan is go in there, soak, and then go wash off in the ocean. So before I jump in, I kind of want to go ask those uh, local people if it's okay if I swim. Just so maybe there's not something going on that I don't know about. So I'm gonna go check, double sh double check, make sure that I'm not going into like a poison bath or something if it's like the wrong time of year. So I'm gonna go ask. Go. Hola, buenos dias. Puedo nadar aquí? Es bueno? Perfecto, muchas gracias. All right, we got the thumbs up, we got the okay. Let's do it, let's go for a little swim. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of nervous, not gonna lie. I don't know what the bottom of this is. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this is like, this is like goop. Goopy. Alright, we just gotta commit. Oh my god, there's no bottom. Oh. Oh. Oh, you just kind of float. This is like quicksand. Oh, this is like quicksand. I should probably stay close to the edge. Oh. <laughs> what a weird feeling. Ah, oh, I just take a little nap. Oh, so nice. Oh. <laughs> smells kind of like gasoline a little bit, but that's okay. Oh yeah, this is that volcanic mud. Should put some on my head, shouldn't I? Oh. 
Oh, yes. Definitely getting gasoline smelling vibes. There we go. <laughs> this is hilarious. These some snow angels. <sighs> oh my god. I don't know if you can see, but look, my hair is like coming through the backside of the mud there. I don't know if you can see that. I really don't want to go too far out because I it's like quicksand, you just sink. So I'm gonna stay close to the edge here. Oh this feels really great though. So I guess this is supposed to have a lot of healing qualities. It's supposed to help your uh, skin. I guess this was a ancient tradition or an old tradition of soaking in this for healing purposes. Oh, I'm getting some in my eye. It is thick. It feels like I'm in like a tub of peanut butter. It doesn't feel like mud at all. It feels like, it feels like peanut butter. Like it's just goopy, just super goopy. It's not like runny at all. It smells a little bit like gasoline too, so I don't know how long I want to soak for <laughs> because this is a volcano. All right, how am I gonna get out of here? Uh, 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 oh shit, I don't know how I'm gonna get out. Oh, there's no bottom by the way. Uh, so you just kind of have to maneuver around it's hard doing with one hand okay that was a workout Jesus oh 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 shit oh god <laughs> what a mess all right we made it out cool Cool. <coughs> there we go. A mud bath in Colombia. Oh, I think you take a little slide down here. This is like a little slide. Let's give it a go. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness. The full experience. Oh, I just got mud up my booty cheeks. All right, let's go rinse off. Let's go rinse off in the beautiful Caribbean ocean. You can see there's like two, two volcanic pools of mud. One is a really big one up at the top, but I guess probably for safety reasons, they just don't let people swim in there because like it is quicksand. If I wasn't so close to the edge, I don't know if I'd have been able to swim to get to the rail. It probably would have just soaked me up. I mean, it's not quicksand like you're sinking in it, but you float on the surface, but you just can't move because you can't like swim. It's a really strange experience, but it feels nice. The lifeguard told me, the lifeguard just whistled at me, or the guy whistled at me, telling me not to adventure too far out into the ocean because there's a riptide here. Now right, let's go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's make sure we're all nice and clean before we go back. Well, hopefully I didn't just swim in a pool of gasoline because that's what it smelled like the whole time. But now we're all clean. We're washed off. Uh, whew. 
what a cool experience in Arboletas. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Arboletas, Arboletas, Colombia on the west coast, the Caribbean Sea, just uh, five hours south of Cartagena, a few hours inland from Monteria. Beautiful little town, a touristy town, but the tourists are all Colombian, no foreigners here. An interesting place. I'm always a big fan of going to places where locals go for uh, tourism or where people from the country are the main, the main people that visit. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. Well, that is the swimming in the volcano mud experience. I'm going to see how my skin feels in the next few days if I suddenly am cured of all my acne and all my woes. Well, then that would be fantastic. But until then, I'll see you guys later.